this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is a separation unit. It separates hydrogen and oxygen. It's the miniature unit that has lie in the water. There's two tubes there separated by a small tube on the bottom. You'll see in a moment. It allows the water to go from one tube to the other and allows the electrolyte to mix from one tube to the other. You can see we're running at around 12 volts and it's 0.48. That's not a half an amp. What I'm doing here is showing you a process that's been used many, many times and is not new. A lot of people can use this to separate the oxygen and hydrogen. Matter of fact, it's done this way in the big factories. There's other ways of doing it, such as putting a screen between the two plates and moving the plates together closer. But this way assures, or pretty much assures, that the hydrogen and oxygen will be separated because it would have to go through the tube in the center. And it's not going to happen because the hydrogen is lighter than water and it will rise to the top before it will go to the, through that tube. And the oxygen is also lighter than water and it will rise before it goes through the tube. Again. You can see how nicely it's separated. This is the miniature hydrogen lab unit. This more likely will be the configuration I will sell for $28. Plus five dollars ship. If you go to hydrogentap.com, you'll see more pictures of it later. It's got to be cleaned up some because this is strictly a test unit. I'm going to make a few more last-minute modifications. But for those of you interested in a means to get involved with the hydrogen project, this would be an inexpensive way to do it. You can, you can put whatever electrolyte you want in there. What I'll supply you with is this part. Of course, there's no batteries included on this. So if you go to hydrogentap.com, sometimes later I will have the unit posted.